I want to know who those chicks are, and I want to know if we get to bang them or not. I'm just kidding. Day one. Day one. A bright daylight shook my eyes. Oh, now we can leave! At first, I didn't pay attention. I wasn't fully awake yet. We're on a completely new bus. On the room, my legs carried me towards the door. Oh, hey, that's our neighbor! Semyon! I'm just gonna call him Simon, and you're gonna deal with it. Damn, looks like I fell asleep and missed my stop. No fucking shit! There are no doors, EXCEPT FOR THE DOOR THAT'S RIGHT THERE! I looked around the bus and realized it wasn't a good old worn-out Marco Polo. It said the bus was the Icarus model, and brand new. It was frozen- I was frozen in shock. Don't let it go, please. HOW?! What? Am I dead? Have I been kidnapped? No, I must be dead. I. <laughs> All I had to do was read the first line. I touched, touched my body wide, wildly, slapped myself in the face, in the face, face a few times, struck the back of my sack. Sta sta. Cut! I touched my body wildly, slapped myself in the face a few times, struck the back of the f the back of the front chair with my forehead. It's clear. Either I'm still alive or being dead, you can still feel the pain. But how could this happen? Uh, maybe I was ex asleep too long and ended up at the bus depot. In the bus depot. Wait a minute. Hold on a Oh, never mind. And what? Did they put me into another bus? I rushed. <gasps> what? What do you mean there's no door? There's a fucking door right there! You said no fucking door! Green, green. Wherever I looked. Tall grass on the roadside. Trees. Flowers. SUMMER! Everlasting. But how? It was winter just a moment ago. Oh, I had a terrible headache. As if my head was gonna explode. BOOM! Then a main character died. Step by step, I started to recall. Uh, 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 um, 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 okay. A long road running towards the horizon. Forests, plains, fields, lakes, and forests again. I think I was sleeping, but how could I remember all of it? And then... But, but then, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked! Wait a minute. A gap. Some girl... Some girl leaving, leaning over me. She was softly whispering something in my ear. You want to fap again? Oh, never mind. Then a gap... Again... What kind of gap are you talking about? <laughs> now look up here. Who is that strange girl? Was she just a dream? For some reason, I'm... Thinking about her made me feel better and calm me down a little. I felt warm come... I felt warmth all over coming from the inside. <laughs> okay! Um... Okay. Sorry guys, just quickly turning on my heater. It's getting cold again. So please excuse if you hear the my heater. There you go. Show me that loud. Okay. Um could it be her who brought me here? I need to find her so I can <laughs> And the best way to look for her is to get away from here. Or look or search the nearby premises premises to see if she may be around the bus waiting for you. 
That is the literal opposite of what you're again never mind. I rushed to the left, then to the right, then stopped hesitating where to go, and finally ran into the direction where the where the bus probably came from. Da da da. It's a wallpaper! Hi Luigi, you just went offline. I'm a Luigi, number this one. This exercise does refresh one's mind. Thoughts became clear, and it's a little easier to evaluate the surrounding reality. The art. Oh, never mind. Damn, this looks good. I was sitting on the roadside, wheezing, and trying to ease my sore throat by ease my sore throat by gulping hot air. I. Uh, in any case, the run did its work. The fear withdrew for a while. Maybe I'm really just dreaming. Though, after recall, recalling myself harm, I re immediately rejected the idea. Semyon. Semyon? Okay, I'm just gonna call him... I'm just gonna call him... Yeah, I'm just gonna keep calling him Simon. I am neither dreaming nor, nor dead. A narrow road was rushing through the field and into the far distance. The exact road from my dream. I must be very far away. Oh, God damn it! I must be very far away from home. And it is not. That it was winter yesterday. And it's... And it's complete summer now. It's about the environment. Thank you. Of course, the summer is usually like that. Green and hot. But everything... Is not just like in real life. Everything looks like mistaken from the paintings. From the paintings of Russian landscape artists in the... Fuck, I gotta read... Come on, I should know Roman numerals. 19th. Looks like 19th. Maybe it is. Maybe it was taken from an actual painting of a Russian landscape in the 19th century. The grass is too lush. The bushes are not... What bushes, what are not like what bushes should be. They're so thick you can't see anything through them. Like treetops, honestly. Or paints. Or paint. And the trees themselves? The forest is quite far away, but the trees look like if they. The trees looked as if they closed their. Fuck! <gasps> but the trees looked as if they had closed. Their even ranks, and we're now just waiting for an order to advance to the into the fields and plains. Okay, you got the order. Start moving. I caught my breath and looked at the bus, which was now barely visible. Considering it's not visible, never mind. That was a good run. Fear took over me once again, and there's power lines. There must be people here. The two sets of power lines. But what does what what does it mean? In fact, it means nothing at all. Even hell could have power lines. <laughs> I'm baking and roasting the sinners is too old fashioned. That's horrible. I must have reached the point of no return. After which you should either lose your mind completely or finally try to understand what's going on. I'm just reading this along because it's kind of interesting. I just want to see the girls. I'm just kidding. I kind of sort of want to see what the plot is. And while I still have a chance, I should rather pick the second option. But there's no options. Never mind. Oh, fuck. What was that said? What does that do? Oh, it's the main menu. Uh, uh. No, wait! Wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh, sweet! I can save shit! Let me save. Is it saved? Is it saved? Oh, okay. Why not? Uh, how do I go back? Ah! Oh, wait. Do we? I slowly headed back to the bus. Oh, wait. That was. The fuck! I must have reached the point of no return. So a chance to pick a second option. Of course it was frightening. But I'm not likely to find an answer in the fields of the woods. Uh, 
in this wretched bucket of screws is the only kind of link I have to the real world. Look at that. I should carefully scout the area. A brick wall. Oh, now you're gonna give me fucking hints? A brick wall on its gates with outlet sign. Crown with outlet sign. Just the one. Statues of pioneers with sides and a road sign nearby showing the bus route. Number 410. Simon. The trip's, the trip's taking a bit too long today. <laughs> I smirked. No fucking shit. A person may start acting inadequately, inadequately, inadequately in extreme situations. Someone is, someone like is probably happy. Something like is probably happening to me now. Happening, happen to be This place doesn't didn't look abandoned at all. This place didn't look abandoned at all. No rust on the gates. There's fucking rust on the goddamn gates. No damage to the walls. Owl sign. Look. Look at have a name like that. Judging by the pioneer statues, looks like a kid's summer camp. And the camp seems to be working. Uh, oh, geez, excuse me. Of course, the simplest explanation logically explains nothing at all. The strange girl, the altered bus, summer, the pioneer camp. Thousands of game theories went through my mind instantly, from alien abduction to lethargic, la, 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 leth lethargic sleep, whatever, from hallucination to time and space shift. Sweet! None was worse than the other, but there was really no way to pick a single one. I think... Never mind. Then it all came to me. I could try to make a phone call! I took out my cellular device and dialed the first number on my contact list. Ha! No signal. But instead of signal strength bars, the screen was showing a thick cross. Alright, there may be no signal in such a backward country place. <laughs> Though I cannot be the only who got here. One. Buses don't go on their own. Maybe. I checked the bus on all sides to make sure it wasn't a hallucination. Bits of dirt at the bottom, some rust here and there, faded out paint, worn out tires. No, this is definitely a very ordinary Icarus. Kid Icarus? Yeah, exactly the kind of bus which takes you to places beyond on your understanding if you carelessly fall asleep. I give a nervous chuckle. <laughs> it came out by itself, sporadically. <laughs> I or it wasn't the right place or time to do said thing. But where on earth is the driver? On earth? I cat I cautiously sat down on the curbstone beside the bus and started and started to wait. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of get these sentences. Cause it's, it's errors. My patience didn't last long. Yeah, my patience don't last long either. My anxiety seemed to re to have reached its top. I sorry, it's... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna change one word in this sentence. My feelings seem to have reached the top, and I started to go slightly mad. In such a situation, anyone would have probably felt something similar. <laughs> uh, I'm not the only one thinking of this wrong. Aliens and parallel universes were gone from my imagination, leaving only void in darkness. Yep, like me. Is this how it will all end? How my life will end? Next time on Everlasting Summer, you'll find. Never mind. But I wanted to do so much, so many things. I had no time for that. I was taken over by the idea. I was definitely in it. But why? It's not fair! Surely I'm no worse than anyone! God, why? Tears were burning in my eyes. Tears were burning in my eyes. Unbearably, I curled up and started rolling in the grass. Sorry. Why? What I do? Why me? No! 
That's exactly what I say every goddamn day. Mama help cries from only heard by speechless statues of the pioneers, and by a bird on a tree, which was imme which immediately flapped their wings and took off, having cried something of its own bird luggage. Having carried something of its own bird luggage, as if laughing at the idiot who dared to interrupt its after dinner nap. Yep, that's pretty much how my life works. At last, I was breathless with my weeping. And I just lay quietly, sobbing from time to time. Da -da -da. Did we get a check? After a while, I managed to pull myself together. My, my mind cleared up a bit, as if terror and fear of death gave me a little break. Oh no, if someone wanted to kill me, what's all this for? Doesn't look like an experiment either. If this was some crazy coincidence, it probably carries no threat. Anyway, for now, it seems there is no danger. The panic was soon gone. Of course, the blood was still pounding in my head, and my hands were still shaking, and at least I could think clearly now. I can think... <clears throat> I can think clearly now! I'm not panicking. That was a fail. Right now, there's nothing. I could change... I can really change anyway. So no matter how much I think or get mad, it will only make things worse. Like everything I ever do! There's no point making guesses until I get some facts straight. In any case, I won't learn anything from my lounging out about here. Go in the gate. This camp, it of course, it, if of course, it really, it is really a camp, looked like the only place where people could be. So I decided to walk there and hardly, there and hardly have I reached the gates when a girl came up from behind them. Oh boy. Interesting. Ah, yes. Russian anime. Wearing a pioneer uniform. My logic didn't let me down this time. <laughs> but again, pioneer uniform in the 21st century. 21st century digital. <laughs> and then again, girls here. I rose, unable to make a step. I felt very much like running away. No! Running as far away as I could from this place, far from the bus gates, state statues, and far from the bloody bird in its siesta. Just run free like the wind, faster and faster, waving to the planets passing by, winking to the galaxy, saying hi to the battleship Yamato, fucking running over the starship Enterprise. Wait, run, becoming a pulsar ray, then turning into vestigial radiation, run to face the unknown. What the fuck is that? Run, no matter where, as long as it's far away from this place. Oh, she got closer. Meanwhile, their girl came closer and smiled the same way she did in the previous shot. By the way, this wasn't the enemy I was kind of sort of expecting. Oh, I could not help but notice her beauty, even though I was trembling with fear. Ay! Human instincts work, despite of consciousness. Wow, only 5% of the brain is responsible for cog cognitive pro 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 processes. The remaining 95% are always busy sustaining life and, in particular, ensuring, ensuring stable functioning of the hormonal system. <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh, biz dude! You're fucking interrupting me! He's not actually here right now. It's a random escape. All right, I desperately wanted to get less complicated. Stop thinking of the formal quotes from the encyclopedia. Though my thoughts appear to be one by one being stupid, out of place, as you take it from internal monologue of the hero of some junky soft cover crime fiction. This is a love story, son of a bitch. Oh well, a pretty Slavic face, long braids.